If you load directly into C1A0B, you'll spawn without the suit. However, the door will open from the other side to C1A0A. If you position yourself correctly, you can get the Eli Vance model scientist to open the door early. Ah, it's good to see you. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. No waiting for you, Gordon. If you wedge this scientist into the door, you can avoid being teleported during the Resonance Cascade sequence. If you wait for the scientist outside the test chamber to finish giving the security guard CPR, you can get the Glock handgun early. You can see this demonstrated in my first Half-Life playthrough video. Once Eli Vance starts speaking to the player during the cutscene after you shoot him, he will die. However, he will continue to talk. You're alive. Thank God for that Interestingly, the door will still automatically open once Eli is killed. You don't actually need to crouch in the- Laser! Caution! Laser! Caution! Laser! Caution! Laser! What could it mean? Segment. If you stay away from this guard's kill trigger, you can double the amount of ammo he gives you. What do you wish I only take? Don't. If you slide down this elevator, you can gain an insane amount of speed. If you're a pro gamer, you can clear this gap by b-hopping, or you can do it my way. You can completely skip this long elevator sequence into Office Complex. This is the first part of my funny glitches and tricks in Half-Life video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Subscribe to Twin Mold. I am a real person.